So, we're here on the desk. Oh. Halfway centered. I mean, yeah. So, the phone works quite well. But this is a package that I've been waiting on for half a week, maybe. That's about it. But, so, what's in here is actually something that I have kind of had a project pulled up. Like, a couple different tabs for how to do something interesting with this. And, well, it's got a couple other things in it, but, or one other thing in it. I'm going to take this away with all my doxes on it. And so, we're going to ignore the notebook, journal, dot grid journal. This is kind of the main kit and caboodle, the main go mini smart router. So, the cool thing about this is there's a whole line of smart routers that have open WRT on them, and this is one of them. So the reason why I got this one is because of open WRT, but okay. I go to the desktop. We've got the Wi-Fi wi pineapple, which is what this, this router can support. So I'm basically going to take this router and turn it into a Wi-Fi pineapple clone. The cool thing is, is the size of it means that it is actually quite pocketable. And I'm kind of happy that I got it before SaintCon. It, I was thinking about putting it off, but then it's like, ah, you know, it's a business expense. And so here it is. It did only cost $30. So you can get quite a competent toolkit for a really decently cheap price. So uh, opening the box, we do have some basic stuff. We've got a let's get starting one. It does have connection instructions. Final thing in there. Supposedly it's supposed to have OpenWRT already installed on it. You have access to a couple different things. You've got VPN access, obviously. Um, you can register it if that's your thing. The let's get started, quick start guide, it's setting it up, internet settings, things like that, connecting it to the interwebs, wireless settings. Oh, it's going to do wireless stuff, all right, but not what it's thinking. Okay. So we've got our flat cable, which comes pretty standard with these a lot of routers now. We've got our USB micro cable. And then we've got the itty bitty router boy itself. So this thing, I think it supports gigabit speed. Barely. Megabit wireless router. Does the Still, like, not horrible at 300 megabit, but was it a gigabit Ethernet port, or is it 300 megabits over Wi-Fi? USB 2.0 port for your data connection if you want to share data. Okay. Anyway, so this is the little thing. So there was another option to get one with a bracket that you can mount onto the wall, but considering use cases, I probably didn't see much of a use for it. Um, but yeah, it's a little... You can literally put this in your pocket and walk around with stuff. So if you've got a USB power bank, you can... Plug it into, let me, come on. You can take this sucker, plug it into thing right here, and then plug that in to power it up, and you're good to go. You ha If you have a good enough battery, you can run this for a while. 
So power draw, five volts, one amp. So depending on your the size of your battery, you can go for a little bit. Yeah. So basic USB power, you've got a reset button and the power switch right there, I believe it looks like. And you've got your WAN port and your LAN port, and then it's all wireless. So it'll pop into your pocket. I'm not quite going to set it up just yet. But yeah, it's DLNet 300 megabit mini smart router, blah, blah, blah. So yeah. It's going to become a Wi Fi pineapple. So it's the right color, just about. It's a tropical fruity thing, but I said Wi-Fi pineapple cloner firmware on it. So we will be working with that on it once I figure out. I I've looked at a couple of videos on setting it up, but I am going to double check that I have everything right. Probably do a video on setting that up as well. It'll be fun to see. We'll do some funny, funny things with it, maybe. So something like this obviously can become a threat depending on your situation because you won't always be able to see where it's at, or someone can easily hide it in their backpack. If you have been around for a while, you'll know that I've got quite a few bags. And so with this having come in the mail, I, what was it? I ordered a crimper and I'm like, oh, there were a couple listings that had cases for it that I could have picked up that had boxes and all. And I'm like, ah, maybe I'll pick that up. And then I remembered that I got two extra cases when I got the case for my crimper. And so now it's like, oh, I can just use that, add my Wi-Fi dongle to it, and maybe a couple other things for Wi-Fi stuff specifically. And I've got the whole cool toolkit set up and ready to rip and roar. So rather than having to go with buy a separate case, I've got one and I can add more tools to it because it'll be a little bit bigger. So as I expand tools or change out tools, it might be a little bit bigger. Then I don't have to switch out the case. I've also got the option of integrating it with the radio pouch that I had that I think I've shown off that has my SDR in it. But yeah, I've got a lot of sorting to do of different bags. Some bags are going to find new functions, but as I get more tools, then the modularity of my bags are going to shift around and change up as well. So this is the fun part. It's going to become my Wi-Fi pineapple bit. And yeah. if you liked the content, if you enjoyed it, if you think I deserve it, like, comment, subscribe, leave any criticisms you have or what have you. I appreciate it. Feed that algorithm, like I said. And I will see you guys in the next one.